Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Dalton Callum and I want to show you what I know about bevel theory as it pertains to body piercing. I'm not talking about the uh, bevel theory as it pertains to like beveled gears. That's not at all what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this. We as professional piercers, you know, back in the 90s and stuff, obviously I wasn't in the industry at that time. I was a baby, but um, people would use all sorts of things. Ice picks, um, cannula needles, catheter needles, all sorts of stuff to accomplish body piercing. Today, we pretty much the industry standard is the tri-beveled piercing needle. A tri-beveled needle has a bevel here and one on each side of the blade. And uh, this isn't the best camera in the world, so apologies for that. But Bevel theory, and, and by the way, you can uh, pay a bunch of money and go take a seminar from the Association of Professional Piercers that claims to represent us as an industry. Um, but anyway, uh, bevel theory, as I understand it, is this. And if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, please. But uh, when you do a piercing and you go through tissue, most people would assume that you go through perfectly straight. But the tendency of the piercing needle is to follow this bevel on the top. And you see how that's at an angle. It's not perfectly straight. So really what you should be doing as a piercer is following the angle of this bevel. So when I go through tissue, the needle kind of looks like that as it's coming through. And I've noticed that this has made my piercing so much straighter. And it, I, it's so much easier to get a consistent result. Because the natural tendency of the needle is to follow that bevel, not to go perfectly straight do the forces of resistance on it as it passes through tissue. So if you go perfectly straight, then that needle always has a tendency to kind of go downward if that bevel is facing up. It's going to go downward from the opposite side of wherever that bevel is. However, if instead of just pushing the needle straight through, and instead you follow that bevel. Perfection. This is information which should be readily accessible, easily accessible to any aspiring or professional piercer. I pierced for almost four or five years with fairly inconsistent results until I learned that. Game changer.